Good morning everyone and thanks for tuning in. This is Dirk and what we're going to do is to take a quick look at where we're standing right now with Bitcoin and where we're headed and just to check if we're still right on track. The Bitcoin dominance is at 58.1%. Now what that means is over the past couple of weeks we had a decrease in Bitcoin dominance and an increase in interest in altcoins. For example here, Chainlink gained constantly, consistently momentum yesterday in the past 24 hours, 11.35%. Now, why am I not concerned about the decrease in Bitcoin dominance is that I personally like the fact that people have an interest in other coins and altcoins, because in the end, Bitcoin is the basis of all cryptocurrency. And that means if we have a general increase in interest in cryptocurrency, it will automatically and eventually translate in an increase in Bitcoin. Now, how are we doing right now? So after we reach the top of 12,500, then of course, a lot of investors, they realized some gains, they sold some Bitcoin to monetize it and to take some profit. And then we went down a little bit. But when you see it overall, we are still in this ascending channel and we just came back above the 200 day moving average, which is always a very, very bullish sign. When you take a look at other indicators like the EME ribbon. As long as we are above the EME ribbon, this is always a very good thrive and a very bullish signal. And we just came above the EMA ribbon again. We never went below. It's always a bit bearish. Once you are below the EMA ribbon, like here, when we broke through it, it takes a while to break back above it. But when you're above it, you can pretty much enjoy the ride. And it is a very bullish and positive signal. So when you take a look at this, we are in an upwards trend. We are above the 200 day moving average. We are above the EMA ribbon. So everything is right on track. Everything is very positive. Taking a look at gold, I think we all know that we don't have to worry about gold at this point. And I told you in my past video what the current investment behavior is. People are pulling out their assets from the stock market. They want some security. They invest in real estate, in gold, and they start thinking about cryptocurrencies. And this is why we have such an immense trend when you see the altcoins booming right now and also Bitcoin doing pretty well. I know it was not a long video, but there's not much to talk about because right now we're headed in the right direction. Now, what a lot of people don't know is you don't have to be rich to be an investor. Even if you have just a few hundred dollars to set aside, you may split it in two parts. And for one part, you purchase a little bit of gold. It can be one gram, five gram, 10 gram, whatever you can afford. But make sure you purchase physical gold that you receive it back and don't buy it on eBay. Please, there's too much scam out there. Uh, buy it from the official sources. And if you need help, message me. I'm I will gladly share my experience and I will help you. Um, and for the rest of the money, buy Bitcoin or some altcoins that you believe is a good investment. Most important is do something, even with a little bit of money. And the reason for that is that the dollar is losing value every single day. Well, that concludes my video. Thanks so much for watching. Be safe, invest wisely, and don't trust your assets to anyone else but yourself. And if you're holding Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies, store it on a hardware wallet, store it on a ledger to be safe and not to be hacked. Thanks so much for watching this, and I hope to catch you soon again. Bye for now.